Apple says a full year earnings came in 11.7% higher. This attributed to sales which were 7.2% higher. The distiller also saw its operating profit increase by 26.6% and expects trading conditions to toughen going forward. Now I spoke to the group MD Young Skinal on those numbers. Look, we believe there are huge opportunities in Africa and that Africa should be a priority to us and is a priority to us so, uh, in the sense that it's up to us to unlock the potential of Africa and of the African markets. I certainly agree with what I think. Yeah. Now tell us, where do you see you know, the, the next growth areas? Because we know you've had a number of acquisitions over the past year. How are these strategically uh, done in order to allow you to penetrate those markets? What we said to ourselves a number of years ago that there are virtually two directions of growth, and that is to penetrate the developing world and to establish structure and through the structure brands in the developing world. And within that, there's two sectors of brands, one which is called local brands, which are specifically designed around the needs and the circumstances of the local consumers in the market. The other one is to fold what we call the global categories that are relevant and applicable and in demand. Uh, in virtually all markets, but very definitely also in the developing world, and specifically in Africa. And within that, uh, cognac and Scotch whiskey was very important to us. So, in the acquisitions that we've made over the past two, three years, we were specifically filling gaps in our portfolio with a view to the potential that it has in the markets where we are establishing structures and where we have over the past built structures to market and to sell the brands and to distribute them. Now to be able to sell these brands, you've highlighted that it's going to be quite a tough environment going forward. How are you going to find these margins given uh, the fact that you know disposable income has come under pressure and you've also got some competition? Competition is out there without any doubt. So the challenge to us would be in entering markets and developing the brands in the markets to ensure that we do a good job as far as meeting the needs and that there's also the perceptual needs of the consumers in the sense what does the brand offer the consumer, what does it stand for, the quality price relationship of the brand and in the end of the day the challenge really remains to do things better than your competitor. Now I want to talk about you'll be stepping down at the end of the year and we've got uh, Richard Rushton who will be stepping in from SAB Miller. Um, how did he come to, you know, to be uh, in that position? Is it perhaps played in his favor that they have a significant uh, shareholding? I mean, what, will we, what sort of leadership can we expect going forward? Um, Richard's appointment to the company uh, was not influenced or instigated by SAB Miller. Um, it happened through the sort of normal processes where people be come into contact with boards and are appointed to companies. So it's not an SAB Miller appointment. Uh, I do believe, believe that he will continue and follow the policies and certainly he will amend things and he will change things in terms of his experience. But uh, broadly speaking, he will continue with the direction that the company has followed during the past decade. Now, um, what I'd like to know is, you know, other than what have you learned specifically over the, you know, the past decade? I mean, you've been there since 2001. What are some of those lessons that you'll take away with you? I think the, the one lesson is that the lesson that there are useful, huge opportunities left um, within the various markets in which we operate. One is that the opportunities are really grabbed through developing the people that you have in the organization, the people who actually got to implement the studies in the market. And if you've got those two things in place and you understand it, then you can build your brand in a market and adapting them and the way in which you execute to the circumstances of each.